Ghana South Africa, it's Arsenal one, Shakhtar the next nil. And I'm here with Mr. Kelechi, <laughs> Kelechi FC. <laughs> Mr. Kelechi, victory at the Emirates, but not a performance to be proud of. Well, honestly, you know, at this time, at point in time, you know, what we needed is just that three points, you understand? At least to forge ahead. But man, in all, Arsenal have been very, very down, both spiritually, physically, tactically, just name it. Mentally. Mentally too. They have been down. You know, apart from this Champions League, you know, if I might take you back to our Premier League, you know, we've played eight matches now and we've considered three red cards, you know. So the team, to me, the team is not doing, they are not doing, they are not making us proud. They are not playing like Arsenal we used to know, you understand? Just imagine a team like Shakhtar Donetsk today, you know, last uh, Champions League, last uh, week Champions League, you know, they faced um, Atlanta that played Arsenal, go let's draw. And Atlanta humbled them. You understand? It was a goal festival. Then, coming to Emirates, you know, to face all my, a, a whole Arsenal, look at the way they were playing us, like as if they were, they were playing us, like say we be their mates. You understand? Man, honestly, I don't really know what has transpired. You know, I don't know what um, Ateta is really, really doing again. Maybe he has lost focus, if I may say. He has lost it totally. You understand? I don't know whether we don't have that uh, psychological uh, trainer or doctor again that talk to the players. You understand? Because all of them, their spirit is very, very low. This is not the arsenal we crave to, you know, to have. Honestly. Um. I, I, I don't know. We have a couple of injuries though, adding to that though. But moving away from, from that, um, the goal we scored today, Martinelli, he was having a bright first half though. I think he had a bright first half because he created that opportunity for us to actually get the only goal of this game. Definitely, yeah. He had a very good game first half, you know. But if you really notice, the game was an own goal, you understand. But at least... His impact, you know, before the own goal, you know, really matters a lot in the game, you know. So, I believe um, he had a very good game today in the first half. You understand? Then coming in inside the second half, honestly, uh, man, I don't see him, you know, meeting up, you know, the way he's supposed to, you know, play again. I don't really know what has come over them. To me, I don't, I don't really understand, you know, what has happened? If not, if not our keeper today, you understand. If not Raya, it was definitely because they had a very clear chance that Raya saved. You understand? If they have con con converted that goal, you see. And the funniest part of it, okay, we are leading one goal down. We are leading them by one. You know. Luckily, they gave us va gave us penalty, which Trusser just you know. Miss, he just played the penalty casually, like as if they didn't even consign him. I wasn't expecting him to take the penalty. Honestly, I feel they are gonna introduce him and give him Harvard the ball to you know play. Even before he played that penalty, one of my friends sitting beside me said, Hey, say Harvard supposed to play this penalty. Say this guy go miss this penalty. I say no go miss him. And lo and behold, he missed. You understand? Honestly, I don't really know what is happening. And the funniest part of it. Now, we have injury crisis, you understand? Heavy injury crisis. Then our, our defender now is on a suspension. And we are, we are going to face Liverpool. You understand? So honestly, if we are... If, and they are coming to Emirates, you understand? If we can get a draw, to me, oh, because the way Liverpool is playing with this their new coach now, that man really wants to prove a point. You understand? He really wants to prove a point. I don't see Asena coming out with three points in that match because of what I am seeing. Okay, now, Calafiori definitely is going to miss that match. Unless maybe what just happened today is just a minor... No, maybe no. precaution or something. Uh, yes, you understand. But if he is missing that particular match, we are in trouble. So they are going to force um, Pate to go and play side two again now. You understand? Then bringing in Merino. He's too lazy. Merino is... Uh, I don't even see him, you know, play like an Arsenal player. He's, he could be a fine player. That's just by the way. But 
his playing his playing pattern doesn't fit in in our you know in our in our style like, like Imari Petit said, our uh, ex-player, yeah, he yeah, said, he um, said in Spain, you have a lot of time, time to, to think. Go, but, but, in, in the, you may, but, you know, when, if they are passing you, if they are passing a ball to you in the Premier League, as that ball is meeting you, somebody is meeting you too with the ball. So you need to be very, very smart, both mentally, you understand, and physically, you need to be very, very smart to play in the Premier League. And I don't see that coming out, coming out from him. We really need to beef up, as in wake up and beef up his game. You understand? Although we had a very good game today, if I may say, but I don't, I don't see Arsenal the way they played today. If they really wanted to go far in this Champions League, you understand? If they continue this, with this level, sorry, maybe, maybe they now team us with a team like uh, Madrid, where Vinicius Junior will just run us down. You understand? Imagine that kind of guy now. Imagine we having a winger that is physically strong like him. At that hour, at that hour seven, you understand? And intelligent like, like him. And intelligent like him. And, you know, when Martinelli, when Martinelli came up to the pecking order in Arsenal, you understand? With high hope, we be, I believe that maybe this guy is going to be one of the best winger. But all of a sudden, he starts depreciating. Start going down. You understand? I don't really know what happened to that gentleman. To be frank with you. So, um, going forward, going forward, we have Liverpool on Sunday. Going forward, if Calafiri seems like Calafiri is injured. Um, if Calafiri is out of that game, it's going to be Zinchenko versus Salah because I think Zinchenko is back. So, going forward, we have Liverpool coming on Sunday, and then um, definitely. Um, you know, for the past um, two seasons now, first Liverpool, you understand. At least we've get we've got we've gotten a very good result from yes. them. You understand. Most of the time, mostly we would normally win in, in Emirates. You we've not lost in two in two, in two seasons. Yeah. yeah, we've not lost. You understand. In the Premier League, I I it was in in in, in an FA Cup they won us. You understand. But in Premier League, we've not lost against them in the pre, in, in in Emirates. But now. With this kind of crisis we have, you understand? Come on. It's going to be a very, very tough. If we finish, if, even if we come out with a result in that match, believe me, we will still have one or two crises again. Because it's going to be a very tough match. You understand? And now, as you can see, that spirit, that belief in us again, we don't see it again. You understand? Most of them play with less. I don't know whether they have issues with Ateta or something like that. You know, sometimes players can rebel a coach. You understand? They can just rebel a coach with, you know, this kind of uh, things they are playing now. And sometimes, Arsenal as a big team, you don't, have, allow, you don't always allow pressures to be on you. Maybe when you are playing with a small team. You understand? You don't allow those pressures. Sometimes, what makes you a big team? Like, um, this is our match against Bonnemont. Before this guy got that red card. There was series of attack coming to Arsenal. You understand? More bites. And you don't do that. A big team. If Liverpool go there, it's not going to be like that. Those people will be pushed back. Believe me. Even Man City too. So, okay, imagine today. This match against uh, Shakhtar Donetsk. Look at the way they were playing us. Like, say, we know even... We know even... We, are, we did the same level with them. No, now. No. Arsenal need to, they need to wake up. If they really feel that they are coming, in fact, Ateta need to wake up. If he really feel that he wants to challenge for trophies this season, or else maybe he should just step aside. To me, you understand? But he, because from uh, currently, it's not get, this season is not getting it right. Believe me, Olivia. And he's a very stubborn guy. Very stubborn. Because if he had listened to advices, he's supposed to have signed good players you understand at least he's supposed to have signed um uh Odega replacement and a, a point man you understand okay now we have a young lad like um Waneri. why don't you give this guy a chance this guy is good why don't you maybe he's looking at him and he's a small boy come on we have small boys playing in the premier league now kobe minor is playing you understand this other guy in Man City, what's his name again? That plays... Uh, Rico Louis. Uh, 
very versatile guy. He's playing. If you come to Chelsea, they have Palmer. You understand? All these are small, small boys. And they are playing where they are doing, they are delivering. Why? And this guy, Maneri is a very strong guy too. Very fine player. Why don't you give him that chance? Give him, give him the mantle of power to play in that position. You understand? And see, if you try him once, maybe first half and see, maybe he's not meeting up. Eh uh -huh. But not when you are down. When you are down, maybe around that kind of 80, 85 minutes, you just introduce him. No, now. That's not how. If you really, if when, when, when Manchester United introduced the Rashford first in a game, that was a match against Arsenal. He scored Arsenal two goals. His first appearance with Arsenal, he scored Arsenal two goals as a small boy. You understand? So give those people those uh, chance, you know.